When it comes to the spinal discs, the most important part we're thinking about in the context of healing is going to be the annulus fibrosis, this bit here. We're not really thinking so much about the nucleus because that's not really the thing that's doing the load bearing. It is the annulus fibrosis that's restricting and holding in place this nucleus as it tries to escape. Firstly, just like all other ligaments, the annulus fibrosis has very poor vascular supply and it doesn't have a very good blood supply, which means it's very slow for the nutritional processes or products to be provided to that area of the disc as it's trying to heal and equally waste products drained away. Secondly, as you might expect, ligaments don't turn over rapidly. They have a slow metabolism, meaning unlike our skin cells, unlike our muscle tissue, these cells are going to go through their regenerative process, their cell division process, etc., repair process very, very slowly. Next, there is a degree of complexity to the structure of the annulus fibrosis. And so it is very common that in the early stages of the recovery process, there's going to be a lot of scar tissue, which is disorganized collagen lay down in and around that area that we have the herniation. The next couple of points are quite unique to the annulus fibrosis. And that is firstly, that it is constantly under strain. Unlike other injuries to other ligaments in the body, we cannot immobilize the back, nor should we want to for other consequences. We can't specifically take it off strain like we can with a wrist, a knee, an ankle, where we put it in a cast, or maybe use the other limb to carry out most of the load whilst resting the one that's injured. That just doesn't work because we don't have a spare spine. And because of this, partially due to very poor education around the back, there is recurrent micro trauma. Think of this like picking the scab. The only difference is our skin will remodel very, very quickly. So picking the scab and knocking it back to square one, it's still gonna go through that healing process and eventually maybe over a fortnight or so, it's gonna go through that appropriate healing. But in the discs, it's very easy to pick the scab, so to speak, and set us back to further than we were when we first injured that disc. These micro traumas are a big reason why this back pain starts and then it's steadily fine that the episodes get worse, they get longer, they get closer together and we get more difficult to recover from because we keep on getting this micro trauma. And finally, again, there is this lack of ability to protect the lower back specifically because we can't isolate it, because we don't have very good tools or support for this region, particularly the L45 and L5S1. It's not practical to brace this area. And so we require a lot of education to help start to understand the back so that we can create a little bit more in the way of protection. And this is something that is sorely lacking for most of your interventions. We might have a great treatment, we might get given some exercises, but the education component is so very lacking. And that's fundamentally one of the reasons why so much of the Back and Shake program, about 60% of the hundreds of videos, is around education and understanding your spine so that with this education, we can better protect the area, reduce the micro traumas that we're having so that we can get more consistency in the healing that's trying to take place in that herniated disc.